Question is from Real Upset Stomach. I'm really weak at the bench press and can't seem to gain strength. I have checked and rechecked my form, but have found no issues. Well, Justin what and I, should you I should, do next? You and I should handle this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let the real professionals in on, on the bench press. I mean, it, uh, it's really tough to answer this, actually, yeah. when you don't, when we can't see the person. Because a lot of times what, what makes somebody a, a great bencher is uh, the the way their body is, right? Their genetic makeup, their, their anatomy. Like if you have really short limbs... Uh, it's very conducive for benching well. If you got a big barrel chest and you got short, short arms, you're going to be a much better bencher than some lanky looking dude like me. It's yeah. a it's a long way the bench has to travel, and it takes a, a lot more strength to move that because it's strength is 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 weight over over distance, and so somebody who has to go has to travel the bar 15 inches. Versus somebody has to travel the bar six inches, that person has to travel fifteen inches could do less weight and be technically stronger than the person who's doing more weight. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's also yeah. leverage and, and all that stuff. But look, yeah. regardless of your genetic build, um, one of the best ways to improve strength in any lift—I don't care if it's a bench press, squat, deadlift, or curls—is to practice it often. Um, people forget that strength is a skill. Mm -hmm. So it's not just that your chest, shoulders, and triceps need to get bigger and stronger. That's part of it for sure. But it's also, are you perfecting the skill of the bench press and how your muscles fire together? Can you replicate it consistently? Yes. Like, can you get into that uh, you know, position, but also can you generate and maximize the amount of force output that you're providing to the bar? So you know, one of the biggest things for me was really – focusing in on leg drive and focusing in on how to connect to the rest of my body. Because when I can access, you know, a tensity across my entire body and get that irradiating effect where now I have even more stability overall, my entire body, it's amazing how much more force you can squeeze out just from that one. That's thing. a good, it's a good point. Uh, tensing up the entire body will give you more power, the ability to generate more power. So like if you were to test your grip strength, and squeeze something. If you tried to squeeze something as hard as you could, but kept the rest of your body relaxed, you would not squeeze it nearly as hard as if you tensed up uh, the rest of your body. So that's a very good point. I also find being able to keep yourself in a retracted position was like the biggest game changer for me. Like, you know, for the that's the shoulders pinned back, position. right? Your shoulders peeled back and tucked down, right? When you're bench pressing, so that your your chest is taking over the load and the shoulders aren't doing a lot of the work and your triceps aren't doing a lot of the work. For me, that was a that was the biggest game changer for improving my strength with my because we were taught for the longest time to not arch your low back and that the way power lifters lifted was wrong and that the right way to bench press is with this flat back and you know we so for many many years I was doing this putting my feet up on the bench or flattening my back trying to bench press and since we do everything in front of us and we talk about this a lot everybody is just naturally kind of rounded forward then you get into an exercise that that is is performed better when you actually have the shoulders in a peeled back or retracted position you know it's it's natural that you're going to go to your default pattern it's natural you're going to roll forward which is what you spend 23 of your 24 hours of the day in that position and so getting to a place where I could train my body to be to pen that and hold it back while I press. And for me, that's where like priming was like a game changer, like learning how important it was for me to prime, prime my rhomboids, prime my, my back and my lats to pull my shoulder girdle back and be able to hold it in that position before I go into a bench. Mm -hmm. That was like game changer. There's also me. compartmentalizing the lift and uh, really breaking it down. So if it's, you know, your, your lockout is the problem, for instance, and like putting a block there. So now like you're not coming all the way down, but now you're just waiting and emphasizing the lockout specifically in the lift and, and just working on that. And then also like, you know, at the very bottom, like using a pause and, and, and maybe exaggerating the time length of like the pause. So like lightening the load, but now like generating, focusing on generating that, that, that strength when you need it in the, in its lowest position. So. Right. Right. I, I remember years ago, um, <laughs> watching one of my trainers uh, and, and he was a super, super strong at certain lifts and watching him train his clients. So what he would do is he would train his, he had a lot of, he had a huge client load. So he'd train a few clients. Then he'd have like a 10 minute break. Then he'd go to the bench and he'd bench press. And then he'd go train some more clients and he had another break and then he'd Just go back frequency. to the bench yeah. and he'd bench press. And then he had some clients and he'd go down and he'd bench press. Now he wasn't bench pressing 
with tons of intensity. So it's not like he went out there and bench pressed to failure. You just practice. But he would take a heavy weight that was decently heavy, and he'd practice a few reps and put it up. And he would do this throughout the day. Mm. And this guy bench pressed a tremendous amount of weight for his size. And I remember watching this going, oh, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Let me try that out. And I did. I tried it out, and I tried it out with several lifts. And I got stronger real fast. And yeah. so if you're if you're following a traditional muscle building routine where you're hitting your your bench press, you know, once or twice a week, try practicing it more frequently. That this doesn't mean you're going to work out real hard more frequently. It means you're going to go bench more frequently and practice more frequently. You can bench press 4 or 5 days a week if you go out and you you adjust the intensity so you don't overdo it. But just that frequency and practice alone, man, that gets people's strength through the roof. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't know what your routine looks like, but I can assume, I'm going to assume that you probably bench press really hard once a week Man. and maybe do another day a week. I would say try benching three or four days a week. And, and, and a majority of that time, you're just practicing the lift. And maybe one of those times you're actually going well, body, hard and heavy. Well, bodybuilding routines look completely different than strength training routines. Yeah. Look completely different. To maximize one of the Yeah, other, the, right? the programming is totally different. You can have a very impressive looking chest. And not be that strong and bench press. Yeah, if so it, a bunch. Yeah, if you, if it's just if you're just doing a lot of bodybuilding volume training and that's and and that's all you're doing. But if you're all your strength athletes, a powerlifting program, man, there's a ton of frequency mm -hmm. in there, and it's all and you're not always moving. You're not trying to get hella sore all the time. You're practicing the the lift. So I think that's important. Whoever this is that's asking this question is understanding too your 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 real desired outcome. Are you just are you trying to chase strength and get better at the bench press? If that's the case, do it more often. And doesn't mean you have to go to failure or be sore from it. Practice the lift like crazy. Mm -hmm. You will get significantly stronger and better at the lift. If your desired outcome is you're you want to build a, a bigger, more impressive chest, well, that's a different story. We have a guide for that. We have a free guide that talks all about building your chest, but building your chest and then asking for strength although In they a both specific area right although they both have carryover to each other there there's a there's a different type mm. of focus and there are exercises that will help you with your bench that are not just bench press so like uh, uh, doing dumbbell uh, presses will help you um, incline presses will help you get stronger at a bench press sometimes you need to back off the bench press and just do incline for a while to address some weaknesses um, dips, dips Man, can help people. Deep dips. Yeah, deep dips can help people with their bench press. So there's other exercises that can help as well.